So today in this video tutorial we will learn about how to interface or how to simulate a four digit seven segment display with data of Arduino Nano. The simulator which we are using is the Vokvi online simulator. So first of all we need to go to Google and here we will write Vokvi and it will lead us to the vokvi.com online simulators page. Click on it. And now we have four of our microcontrollers, you know, ESP32, STM32 and Pi Pico. So we will click on Arduino. And now we will take Arduino, Arduino Nano, so we will click on it. So now our both uh, the windows are opened. The right hand side is the circuit window and the left hand side is the programming window. So we will press control and plus sign. Control and plus sign. Okay now and our microcontroller has become a little bit big. Now we will go and we will write TM1637 and we will get our 7 segment display that is four digit base seven segment display now we need to connect vcc pin of the display with that of five volt pin of the microcontroller and ground pin with that of ground pin of the micro sorry display okay now uh, both of our power pins are now connected we will go and we can connect clock pin with that of D9. This D9, okay. And data in pin needs to be connected with that of pin number 10. Now we will arrange them. Now our circuit has been completed and now we will come towards our programming. We have two functions that is wired setup and wired loop but uh, in the start we need to import one of the library and uh, for library we know that we need to write hash include tm1637 display dot h tm1637 display dot i so this is our library file which used to offer a lot of functions for communication in between this Arduino nano and four digit seven segment display so this is our library and after this has been done we need to go to library manager we here we need to write tm1637 and we need to click on TM1637 and also TM1637 driver, okay? Driver, so now we will run it out and we will see that either it has accepted, it accepted the library or not. Yes, it has, okay? Now we will write HD fine CLK9. What is this? Now we have defined that R, we, we have given the pin number 9 NM, that is CLK. So wherever we will write CLK or clock, it simply means that it represents pin number 9 of Arduino Nano. Hd find di0, 8, uh, sorry 10. Now wherever we will write DIO, it means that it is the pin number 10 of the Arduino Nano. So if you want to change the pin number here in the circuit, we also need to change the pin number here. Now, after this has been done, we need to write TM1637 display display is equal to TM1637 display 
and here we will write CLK comma DIO. Now what is this actually? Now we are going to define an object. We need to define an object. What sort of okay? We, we just need to write this okay rather than full display. This is just a variable object, this thing. First, we need to write the name of the library or main class, which is this thing that is TM1637 display. If you want because we want this library for to use certain functions, and for these functions, we need to create an object. So, DISP, so this is our object. Okay, so this is our object, and it is just representing this TM1637 display. So is equal to this thing TM1637 display and here we need to give two of our parameters that is clock and DIO which actually represents 9 comma 10. Okay so this is our object so all of the functions which are inside this library must be fetched via this object. So in wire setup we will write uh, DASP dot clear. Yes we need to write write this dot operator clear as a function clear as a function and obviously it needs to clear the seven segment display so it is our function that is disp dot clear disp dot set brightness disp dot set brightness and uh, this function is used to like um, change the brightness of these LEDs. Okay, we, we need to change the brightness with the help of this function. Now in while loop, we need to write, we need to declare a variable. So here we will just write integer i. Now our a is a variable in which uh, we will like store any sort of data because it is a variable of integer data type and now we will write for a is equal to 0 a is less than 100 and a plus plus and after this is for loop means that we want to print a lot of numbers on this display so we will use for okay so here we will write this dot show number number dec means that show number decimal of decimal format this is a function and uh, which function it uh, needs to have a that is a that uh, first a will become zero so it will show us the zero then one then two and then three and all this like and we will introduce a delay of 500 500 This dot show number DCA, this delay of 500 and this dot clear. This dot, uh, okay, we, we can write this dot clear, okay, it will clear the display for us. So, this is good. Now, we will run it out and we will see that either we can run it out properly or not, okay. Now, you can see that we have written 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now you can see that this is very good. This is very good for a lot of our, uh, of our circuit simulations. So in this way you can change it out. Okay. So if you, if you want to just represent uh, 1000. Okay. We will just write. Uh, like here. We will uh, remove the loop. Okay. So here. So if we just write like 1000 uh, or this is this this can be a little problematic okay so int a is equal to 1000 okay and we write it here a sorry a then a thousand will be displayed on the display okay now you can see that it is showing so hopefully you got the concept that how you can uh, use the uh, four digit seven segment display of model number TM 1637 uh, with the Arduino Nano. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.